We are at the Lazy H Ranch. So they think it's haunted because something called the Palma Massacre, around 100 people died. I just saw a full, very tall shadow man. He just moved to it. Shut up. Stop. We're not in the dumb blondes in the horror movie. We stay together. We don't go outside in the woods. All of a sudden, I have a really bad feeling over here. I feel like we should not be over here. I do feel like somebody was out there with us. Caught a voice out wasn't ours. Turn off the flash. Run, Cabal, Cabal, Shut Cabal, Cabal. Cabal. Bro, I was like frozen with fear. <laughs> I wrote down the last name Lamb. And it's in Melissa. We're literally in the middle of the mountains. No one to come rescue us if we needed it. <laughs> what? This is a freaking horror movie, Amanda. classical music playing in there. We really? Yes, yeah, swear. When I walked by that window that we have open, I heard it like. Definitely no music in here. <laughs> no, not at all. Hey. Can we both fit in that chair? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try. Let's get over to your side. Let's on the edge. <laughs> oh, can we do this? Oh, we can fit we can comfortably. Do it. I'm just cannot just, I cannot get a deep breath. I was feeling like that when we were over by rooms three, four, five. Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, we're Mackie and Amanda. I'm Mackie. I'm Amanda. And, and we're, we're the Spooky, Spooky Booze. Booze. Today we are. I just feel like I said all the time. Because that's your line. <laughs> that dates back to the 1700s but the place that we're staying at wasn't built until the 1900s so there's a lot of history that goes back beyond the buildings that we're in. We are at the Lazy H Ranch. In the 1920s it was a working... There's such a loud knock. So loud like right here. Is there somebody here with us? Sounds like water dripping. I did. <laughs> Originally in the 1920s, it was a working horse ranch, but in the 1940s, it was converted to a place called Blazy H Skyline Ranch, and it was a destination for celebrities. They would fly their planes in. There was a private runway. Thank you. Mm, of course. To me, and it was membership only. Celebrities like John Wayne stayed here, which it seems like we've been dealing with him a lot lately. First at uh, the cellar, then at Culver. He owned Culver Hotel. And now this was one of his favorite vacation spots. He was a member here and would fly privately in. All these years later, it's still working as a resort, basically. It's different from anywhere we've ever been because everything's detached from each other. We have our own cottage here. It's also a motel and a restaurant, though. And the motels are more like three, four, and five are all the same building. Those are also known to be haunted, so... If we get a lot of activity here tonight, we might have to come back and check out oh, the definitely. haunted motel also. So one of the reasons they think it's haunted is because something called the Palma Massacre, where around 100 people died. If you guys have seen our video of the San Pasqual Battlegrounds when we investigated down there, this massacre occurred just days after the battle at San Pasqual, the bloodiest battle in the Mexican-American War. The Palma Valley Massacre started when 11 men were taken hostage and killed, and they sent in, before they knew they were murdered, backup to come and rescue mm. them, and those 100 men were ambushed and also killed. It's basically the land this place is built on that is said to be haunted, as well as it being Native American grounds from hundreds of years ago so it, i feel like it's a lot of 
centuries and century old things that have happened here. But we have access to like the pool. There's an old carousel out there. I don't know if it's a carousel. Super creepy playset stuff. On the right of our house, there's this open field type thing and we don't really know what it was. Well, like, who we cares about the open field? Yeah. What about the thing that's right oh, behind well. that house? We're not from where there's tornadoes no. at all, so cellars, basements, like, aren't a common thing in California. So when we stumbled across this earlier today, we were, more to say, a little shocked. Yeah. Did you hear that? Yes. Pull that clip. Alright. Did you hear that? What? It, it wasn't like taps, but... I was going like that. I know, it wasn't that. Uh-huh. It sounded like someone was on the wood. Like a creek. All right, should we walk around? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Not again. Here we go. I just heard something like, ooh. I heard that too. Oh, it sounded like it was literally right behind you. What is that? It just keeps. I think that's right there. Right there, got it. Okay. Did you hear talking? I did. Suspicious. I know, there's an, no one else no. here really. Like, why is there just a cement patch right there? It's definitely odd. <laughs> it's just so weird it's like a cellar yeah yeah i don't, I really don't even know like that's what they have for tornadoes and stuff in like this <laughs> no. oh. what the f is that <gasps> there's a huge axe on it that was not there it's earlier confederate it's heavy you can definitely open it. Yeah? Are there any cameras or anything? Um. You should do it like really quick. Yeah, you should do it really quick. Yeah. I'm recording. What's in there? Oh, what? sh the stairs down to a door. Stop. Keep it open. That's fucking crazy. Okay, shut it. Is it creepy? Yeah, it's fucking creepy. It like footsteps like. It totally did. Right when you stopped the recording. Okay. What if I just let something out? How would anyone. <laughs> How would anyone get out of there? Like that would be so heavy no, to open no. from the inside. It's from a strong no, hand. My strong hand. In 73042, would that be 1942? Yeah, it would. So this has been here since the beginning of the country club. I feel like it's the house has to go like so much deeper under here, don't you? Oh, it does. It, it's as deep as a normal house. I would say it goes six feet under. <laughs> Bro, it goes six it's feet under. Normal. It goes six feet under. I just hate that. <gasps> okay, that's Super funky. Something ain't right here, Bo. Something ain't right. All right, let's pick up. <laughs> we have no idea what the hell that is. That's literally backing up to our cottage, so. It looks like, oh, well, it says right there that it was built in 1942. Yeah. So it is original. At first, when we got here in the middle of the day, we we're like, okay, this seems honestly pretty. Like light normal. hearted or yeah. like light but then as the sun's been going down stuff has been starting to pick up a little bit you saw something about I'm, an hour ago i was sitting in her bedroom <laughs> and uh you were in here mm -hmm. at first i thought that it might be you i was in the bathroom even not even Gosh. right here because it was so light like it looks like a light colored mm -hmm. skin you know it wasn't like a dark shadow when i started to focus in i realized that it was not like a shadow person but super like white light almost and it was a, taller than that fridge but uh -huh. way shorter than you so i said it was child height but i don't know that it was necessarily a child oh god but it was definitely like the figure of a person and i didn't get any bad feelings so okay, well that's good at least so some weird stuff going on here i'm excited to see what's really going on too should we start i think we should let's do it Like a little therapy session. I know. Okay. Oh, it just turned off, I think. I was Whoa, did it just go yeah, off? Yeah, I was gonna ask if something is in here. I feel like Oh it's back here. on. I feel like I'm a bubble. I feel like we're in a bubble. Oh 
Oh, someone's in here with us. Can you turn that flashlight off? Gosh, I hate that I can see into the other room right now. Okay, it makes it so much creepier because we're like in the mountains and it's so dark outside. It's completely dark. You can't hear anything. Like, we're away from everywhere. To start it out, we're just gonna do a little medium session to get tuned in and everything before we start our actual investigation. And Amanda basically will doodle, zone it in, we'll have the spirit box going. We're just gonna ask some questions, see who's here with us, and right. I'm picking up on the same things. Here we go. So this is super weird. Right before I like closed my eyes and went to start drawing and we hadn't turned the spirit box on and somebody just told me like, wait. Wait on the spirit box? No, wait on me writing. Oh. Which was weird. When the spirit box turned on, cause I was like, oh, maybe I thought wait because it hadn't turned on yet. So I put my hand down and did my first circle and I started from the middle right here. Yeah. And when I went around, it literally felt like somebody bumped my hand. And you can, you can see where it went out a tiny bit yeah. where it went out and then I started again and I did one more full circle before I stopped and was like, something definitely hit my hand. It didn't get caught on the paper or something. That's something. weird. I know. So does it not want you to do this right now? I don't know. If you don't want Amanda to draw on her pad right here, can you make this flashlight turn off? If you do want me to tune in and open a line of communication. Can you turn the flashlight off? Is anyone still here with us? Tap the flashlight if you are. Well, that's weird. What if it just doesn't care if I do it? That was weird. All right. Let's just try. Okay, let's, let's do it then. Okay. Did you hear that knock? Yeah, I did. Turn it back on. The second this went on. Hello, my name's Amanda. My name's Naki. Do you have a knock? Yeah, I do. You know what I just heard? What did you hear? Whoa. 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 I remember while we were looking for a different location, there was a stop sign that we came up on that said, whoa. Like it didn't say stop, it, it said, said whoa. Was. So we were like, what the heck? And that was pretty much the end of it, but that's all I could think of. Also, normally when I go, sorry, normally when I go like in circles super fast, it's I'm almost like, one, two, one, yeah. two. I don't know if that means anything, but I've never had that oh. before. Now I'm like... Can you tell us who's here with us? Brendan? Brendan? I heard that too. Is he dead? <laughs> who's Brendan? Hello. I'm just making sure you're alive. Alright, we're filming. I love you. Flash it. Oh, phew. Do you know Brendan? Is your name Brendan? Can you tell us what your name is? Is there anywhere on this property specifically we should go? Call my mom? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Where do you want us to go? Poolside. I heard that too. I heard outside. Oh. Like for me and my head, I wrote it down at the same time. That's Long crazy. Light. We're outside. Pool. Told you. And I also wrote down pool again. What's by the pool? Pool. What's by the pool? Are you by the pool? No. Spirits, the girl. The girl? Mm -hmm, yeah. Alright. Is there anywhere else we should check out outside? Watch that one. What about that field that's to the right of us? 100%, I guess. I told you. Cool. What's that field that's next to us right over here? Cheers. What? Cheers. 
Murder. I'm hearing so many things coming through. Okay, was someone murdered in the field right here? Did you mean? Yeah, yeah. Fire. Hello? Okay, so we should go to the pool. If we should go to the pool, say yes. Do you get energy from the water? Yes. Super creepy, I'm gonna tell you why. Oh no. <laughs> because I have this one spot on the caves that's just super dark. I don't know that my other word, portal, that I, I don't know. I just think yeah. that it's gonna be a really good spot and it keeps coming through. Okay. But when I wrote down, like, like, is there a reason you want us to go? I was thinking energy, and I started writing energy right in the dark, like oh, right in the middle of this. Flashlight. Okay, so I wonder if something negative or anything in general, spirits that we're talking to, draw energy from water. Should we go to the pool, then the little house behind here, then the field? Say yes if you're okay with that. I said no. I heard that too. Um, REM pod's going off. I hear it. REM pod? I know. We don't have no REM know, pod. I know. Okay. Alright, who's here with us? Alright, there's multiple things here. One of them keeps coming through. Like, it's a man, it's definitely more pushy. And he's the one that keeps, like, every time we ask who's here, and I feel like it's also the one that said Brendan, but I don't know if its name is Brendan. Every time we ask who's here, it goes here, here. And I just heard this last time somebody else go, like, you've, like almost like you've said that before, but it was like, like, said that, or like, <laughs> do you know what like, I mean? Stop saying that, like, yeah, you know. Like, um, I don't know if it's the spirit of a little girl, and that's who I saw in white, and I'm like, we do that, and putting that together. I don't know if it's the spirit of a little girl, or if it's the spirit talking about a little girl. But in the very beginning, I heard call my mommy. It sounded like a little girl's voice. And then there's been a couple of other things that make me feel like there's a little girl, like, coming through and here with us. Um, that's who I think is also by the pool. Or the place set by the pool. Did you stay here? Were you a guest? I have this theory that however many circles I have, separate ones, are the different spirits oh. over here and how dark I do them yeah. is how well I'm picking up on them and how often they come through. Because when I'm tuning in, sometimes I'll leave from one and go uh -huh. to the other because I know it's a different thing uh -huh. and it's so subconscious. I feel like up here is where I have like the little girls and like do you see how small it is? Yes. But that's one of my theories now. I say let's go where it told us to go. The pool. Yeah. Spirits here want us to go over to the pool. Can you give us a sign like a knock? What is that? Yeah. Like yeah. Yes. Okay, well, while we go out there, <laughs> we have to go. Flash oh. Alright. Let's turn the lights on in here. How do you feel? I feel nervous. I do too. Do you think it's safe out there? Yeah. Other way. Pick your poison, wait, do you wanna go near the creepy cellar or do you wanna go near the murder field? Oh, good lord. Do we save the pool for last? Or do we go to the pool because that's where I told us to go? Maybe we take a stroll through here, see if it feels off at all. Oh god, no. I feel like I need to grab the flashlight. Oh god, yeah, I think you might. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Oh! Mm -hmm. Whoa. Righty tidy bow. Get her in. Oh, it's super fucked up at night. Yeah, it is. 
feeling one. No. In me, but wait, does it sound like running water? Yeah, there's um, a pond or like wait, a wait, fountain, wait, wait. but it sounds like our room. Oh. I don't hear it anymore. I know it sounded like it would be coming from the front bathroom. I know. That was weird. Do you hear that like drumming? Yeah, I do. It's a car. Is it? Okay. Should we go over here since we're hearing the noises like coming from this way? I think we should. Oh gosh. The pool's over this way also. Wait, does it smell totally different over here? Yeah, it does. What the fuck? How did that come out of nowhere? <laughs> Amanda, stop! <laughs> did you hear it attack me? <laughs> don't get don't try the light on me! <laughs> you holding the camera away from me. That's fucked up. Wanna hold the camera? No, I'm just kidding. because <laughs> I just got attacked by a bug. <laughs> Did you see it? Like something moved you like into this bush right here. <laughs> Bunny. Oh, okay. Right there. I can see it. I see it. He said the creepiest thing to me earlier Sorry. at night when we heard a noise like someone in a bush. He said, Oh, shut up. It sounds like every time the lights off, it sounds like someone's walking. I know. These are like the lands where you hear about best walkers, like don't whistle at night. Okay. I'm I'm getting attacked too over here. <laughs> I'm so afraid. <laughs> You're holding it like this. Ow, oh my lord. I feel like I maybe I'm really dramatic tonight, but <laughs> you weren't even looking at me. It felt like somebody just took a straight on sewing needle and went boom! And I went, what? Oh, did you hear my little feet yes, slide? I that's... literally jumped away from Wait, it. Wait, that's somebody. crazy because when we like first started in there tonight, it felt like someone took a sewing needle and did that into my ribs. And you'll probably be able to see me on camera jump and then feel my side. All right. When? I think it was right when we were starting the spear box. You never even said it. I know. It hurts so bad. All right. Now what the hell is this? I don't really want to open this thing at night because I saw what it looked like on the inside. I haven't seen it. You don't want to see it? Is it fucked up? It's fucked up. It's just stairs like straight to another wooden door. What the right, fuck? Right where that, like not this first. <laughs> <right. laughs> but for what? I don't know. Like why couldn't they just have it above ground, bro? Like how do you feel about it right now? I despise it. I despise everything that's happening right now. I hate how close. Stop moving near me. No, me. stop moving away from me. <laughs> I say we do a spirit box session outside of it. Should we? No, I'm very afraid because then we won't be able to hear anything coming. Yeah, exactly. <gasps> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh my yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. That much noise would have moved that fast. I don't know. Oh. God, I hate all these noises.
there's something fucked up in there. We should just leave right now. Can you kindly? Oh fuck God! Can you kindly it won't focus. put that cat ball right here to my left that I just tossed down? Can you give it a kick? Give it a little tap. Put some energy. I in keep hearing noises. Also, we're in the mountains. Oh. I saw that. I saw that. Oh, nice. Right in the middle of the X, right you psychopath. When these spirits are here, we set down this device with a red light on it. If anyone is here with us, can you go near this REM pod and set it, turn on all the lights or beep or anything? We also have that cat ball by Matthew's foot that <laughs> I tossed down. We'll give you f temperatures on, on the REM pod already. Temperature? We turned temperature off. I, it's not making any noise, but do you see what I mean? EMF. Oh. EMF. It just feels like we're being launched. I know, from all angles. All of a sudden, I have a really bad feeling over here. Really? Mm-hmm. Should we not be here? See this? I feel like we should not. What do you mean? I feel like we should not be over here. Okay, let's go. But like, I feel like it normally is safe. I just feel like momentarily it's not. Like, where should we go then? Like, towards that main building or towards ours. Really? Mm -hmm. Like, you think a person or? Yeah, I do. Okay. You didn't leave. I left that one. So anyway, go right. There's no one in here, right? No. So. I never feel like I have anyone really looking out for me. Uh -huh. I said that before, you know what I mean? I just kind of like rely on myself. I'm like, yeah. God. But like back there, I just feel like something was telling me that we should not be there. And I was thinking... What was that? That like, usually it would be safe. Like earlier when you asked me, like, is it safe? Like, I don't think that it's normally dangerous to be out there. But I do feel like somebody was out there with us. And so we left the door. Yeah, I did. But I just feel like where we were, for some reason, was like not safe right then. I didn't feel like it was like inside that house or anything. Uh -huh. like, I don't feel like it was somebody inside there. Like yeah. I feel like they were out with us. I had that overwhelming sense of like, no, it's not me. Like thinking that. Yeah. Like, I've never felt like somebody's looking out for me. Like listen to this. So I was like, I'm just not going to question it. Like right then, we should definitely have come inside. So we probably shouldn't go into that field at all then. I might not. Yeah, okay. But I feel like we are literally backed up to it. Like anything that we're gonna get in that field, we can get in our bedroom. Oh, true. Okay, so what do we do now? I'll take a picture in this mirror because we're scared. Okay. Alright. Do you feel like anyone's in here with us right now? Okay, to be honest, we've been sitting here talking for like 20 minutes and I just asked Amanda off camera and she started to say something, so I just re asked the question. That's why we're so uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah, now. yeah. Like, Yes, I still do. Um, and I said, I feel like they came in with us from outside. And Mackie goes, a protector? A protector. And that's when I picked up the camera. I don't know. I feel like that lighter energy definitely came in here with us too. But I still feel like whatever was in here with us communicating that wanted us to go out by the poolside is here like encouraging us to go to the poolside. Like you don't think it's a setup, right? Like they're trying to get us out there because they know someone bad's out there. Why would you even say that? I don't know. Stop. Okay, well, should we go to the pool first or should we do the investigation here first? We should go first. Really? Mountain lions come out later. Do they really? No, no, oh my god, she's been scaring me. I'm like, there's no mountain lions out here, right? She's like, so like, mountain lions. Totally mountain lions. <laughs> Wait, do you have any weapons? Yeah. Don't say your credit These card knife. Guns. Okay, that's <laughs> even worse. Hold this, I have scissors. <laughs> <gasps> I really. You sound like someone banging. <gasps> Are you kidding me? Oh my god, do you have your car keys just in case we have to make a run for it? Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. I said, let me get my weapon. I got it. I'm gonna leave it like this so if anyone comes walking up behind us, they'll see that I have a weapon of some sort. Yeah. Should you do a practice pull out? Yeah. Pretend I'm. An assailant. Ready? Yeah. 
Oh, I'm gonna steal you. <laughs> that was good, that was that smooth. <laughs> I thought you called me a perm. She you have it in your something definitely just touched Are my you butt. Serious? I swear I'm not even gonna take this from you anymore. Something definitely just touched the pocket of my butt. <laughs> nice. Okay. No one messed with us. No one. I forgot that a bug's gonna fuck us up. What? What? Are you kidding? No. Should we not? I don't know. I can't tell if it's a person. I just saw an orb on camera. I feel like really? totally. Wait, wait, wait. Did you hear that? I did. I want to know if the people are still working. Like if they I closed two hours ago at the restaurant. But I wonder if a front desk person is here 24 hours because that makes me feel way better. There's not. <laughs> are you sure? I'm positive. It says for after hour desk help only, like emergency only, call this number. Oh, God. And that was somebody's phone number. Inside. <laughs> Wait, you what is going on? Oh, sorry. <laughs> what is going on? It's not like someone walking up, right? It so did. Okay, that was super funky. What do we do? I don't know. We're like in the mountains in the middle of nowhere. This is literally like a horror movie. I know. We've said that since it was bright outside. We were joking at first, but now I feel like it's actually turning into a scary movie. I know, I'm kind of shaking. And we're, we're about to be the dumb blondes in the movie who go outside still at night in the woods. Even though we know we're not supposed to. And we say, oh, we feel like someone's out here with us. Let's go. <laughs> okay, what if we investigate in here and then... Once we're done, we get in your car, drive to the pool, do that, then hop in your car and leave. Love it. And do you still feel like anyone's in here right now? You're gonna love what I was gonna say because before you started that, I was starting to hand it to you and stopped. I just saw a full, very tall shadow man standing right to my left. It was almost his shoulder, like right about here. So he was pretty tall. It didn't give me a bad feeling at all. Okay. So I would say we should do something in here. You just move to it. Shut up. Stop. You just moved over there. That's crazy. Bro, you should see your face right now. I know, I'm like, I can't believe that because right then it sounded like a footstep right here next to me. Whoever's here with us right now, if you want us to just start an investigation in here and talk to you in here right now, give us any type of sign if you want us to start talking to you in here right now. Like I hear scratching yeah. or scribbling over here. Yeah. Should we set up some equipment? I think, yeah. We try should to get them riled up. And I think then... definitely. Okay. Should we shut the curtains? Yes. On I, all we, of them. We thought, should shut all of them. Yeah, I think so too. I think it's the thought of someone watching us. Just do it together. Yeah. We're fine. We don't split up. We're not being the dumb blondes in the horror movie. We stay together. We don't go outside in the woods. God, I'm not even looking at it. Bro, I feel so secluded now that everything's shut, though. It feels gnarly. Oh, it does. Then you said we should use Boo Buddy, right? I do think we should use Boo Buddy. Or if we feel like a child comes through, which okay. I feel like earlier they did. My back's hurting. Mine is too. Is it really? It was just reminding me of the front desk. Like, it did because of how today. we started dying. Yeah. And how we kind of thought it might be. Yes. Die. It just gave me such a weird vibe. Now I think all that's left to do is turn off the lights. Oh. Any spirits that may be in here? My name is Mackie. My name is Amanda. We rented this cottage tonight. We came to talk to you and hang out basically. So if you are here with us now, 
and willing or wanting to open the light. Oh, Capel! My next flashlight! I did too! Do you see me turn it over here? I totally did, I totally did. We travel all over doing this and nobody ever sets off that device that you just did over there in the bathroom that lit up all different colors. That was so unbelievable. You're so impressive. And setting off one right after the other was just... Yeah, that was... Even more. Yes. If you could do that for us again, we'd love it. We'd go crazy. Just like we did. I just saw a shadow over here. Okay, okay. There's a younger... <gasps> the flashlight's off. I can't breathe at all. I'm texting you that footage right now because there was some weird things in it. What do you mean? Um, like some orbs and stuff. Every part of the entire investigation always is when the camera and battery is being changed. I know. I always feel like something's gonna happen as it's being changed. All right, we're up and running again. Flashlight. I just saw that. Right. Do you think it's a kid here with us? I think that one of them is a kid. I think that there's more than one for sure. If there's a kid here, do you want us to turn on our little teddy bear right here and you can play with him? If you do, can you set, turn on our flashlight? We'll let you play with our teddy bear. We'll give you 15 seconds. You can touch our teddy bear and talk. Okay. Oh, All right, little boy. So this is Boo Buddy. He has a green light in his tummy, and you can go touch his tummy. You and can hold his hand. Hold his hand. Yeah. You can play with him anyway. Where do you think is a good spot for him? Play with him. If you want Boo Buddy to be in this chair right here. I'm literally really? looking at that chair. Like, <laughs> no. Way. Yes. Can you turn this flashlight off if you want me to set him in our chair? I'll give you 15 seconds if you want Boo Buddy in the chair. Five, four, you have Three, to turn it all the way off. Two, one. All the way all off. All the way. Come on. Take some energy from our light. All the way off and we'll set him right in there. All right, good job, little boy. Thank you. We should also be talking during because it calibrates to our voices. Da, 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 da. That way if it hears da, da, da. anything else. Boo Buddy's now turned on. You can go up to him and play with him all you want now. Flashlight. Oh. I think the little boy has an H. An H? Does your name start with an H? Can you tell me what 2 plus 2 is? I wrote down two letters and we got two knocks. And I feel like the first one was you confirming that it was an H, and the uh -huh. second one you were confirming that I wrote down the second letter correct. What is that? I'm gonna write down another letter now. If I have it right, tap again to confirm. Flashlight. Good. Is the third letter of your name an R? Is that? The next letter, V. Did that turn off? Yeah, it did. I heard a tap in there too. Is your name Harvey? Can you tell me a secret? If your name's Harvey, can you make one of our devices go off or knock? Is there anything else you think it is? Harry. Harry. Is your flashlight? Immediately. Is your name Harry? Can you touch my tummy? Oh my gosh, no, someone touch his stomach. Harry, my name's Amanda. I'm Mackie. Were you ever a guest here? You can turn any of my devices off to confirm yes. Was going to. That was that means someone he caught up a vo caught a voice out wasn't ours. 
Can you say it again? Where? Do you think it's a kid? Oh, yeah. Is he still sitting there? Does he feel okay? You know why you need to leave? You're not welcome to stay here with Mackie and I. You have to leave. For the rest of the night, you you're, have to go. You're not welcome here. I almost... He definitely left. That's so weird that these questions are coming up. I, I almost feel like maybe they were family. Really? Mm hmm But I really did not like him. Flashlight. Flashlight. Why? Um, I don't know. Just had, um, he had that overwhelming kind of, like, just overpowering, like, feeling where mm -hmm. he's just, like, mm, very macho, like, dog yeah. dog. <laughs> very top dog and, like, rude. To women okay or children like, was he saying something to you nothing in particular it was more of like he sat down next to me it was kind of like intimidation factor okay school, you know? yeah where he wasn't a bad like negative spirit he was just like a negative person did you see him or was yeah. it you saw him what do you look like just like that tall black figure. okay okay your shadow man were you related to that man oh god the flashlight <laughs> do you know that man that we just kicked out were you related to him Can you set off any of our devices if you were related to the man we just made leave? Flashlight. Was he a family member? Did flashlight. you just hear someone? Yeah, I did. Edge? Yeah, I did. And the flashlight turned off at the same time. <sighs> it's still going. Was he your father? Was he your brother? Flashlight. Um, what bird is up right now? That's really scary. Is that a bird that we're hearing? Turn it off if it isn't a bird that we're hearing. Give you 15 seconds. Oh my hand. god. Hand. Hand. Oh, Somebody touch his hand. It just reminds me of that owl noise we were hearing at my house. I definitely just saw something in the bathroom on the camera. Can you, if someone's in, that scared me, if someone's Sorry. in the bathroom, can you turn on that cat ball that we have on the floor? Flashlight. To the little boy, is it a boy or girl? I think it's a boy. Okay. I'm not, 99%. Okay, to the little boy, is it okay if I turn off our teddy bear? If you're okay with me turning him off, will you turn off that flashlight? Give me 15 seconds. Loud as knock over here. Flashlight. So I can turn him off? Yeah, he's out here turning it off. What if the REM pod goes off? <laughs> he was gonna say that, that tickles. tickles. Now, if someone's in the bathroom, can you set off that cat ball we have placed on the floor? Put some energy into it? I don't like that. Oh, flashlight. What? Flashlight. Okay, this one. Oh, it's a dog. It was not the dog the first time. No, it wasn't. The dog's reacting to it. It hurts me that like slow pound. Do you think we're safe? Does it sound like somebody's walking outside? I don't know. I don't love that there's no peepholes. I know. Or like actual no. lock, like hard lock. Maybe we should take our stuff to the car. I don't want to be cautious. 
Especially because we checked in alone and we got a weird vibe even when we were we checking did. in. It was really weird when we were checking in. Flashlight went on. Are we safe here? Turn off the flashlight if we're not safe. Turn on the REM pod if we are. Give you 15 seconds. I heard that. Yeah. It sounded like the couch again. Yeah. Five, four, three, one. Turn off the flash. Fun, Cabo, Cabo, Shut the fuck up. Cabo. I heard a tap right behind you me too, yeah. Maybe five seconds before that. What the fuck is going on? Bro, I was like frozen with fear. Like, turn this no, on. When, when I say cat ball, ball, I know. I like couldn't move. I know. I've never felt that before. What the fuck? What the fuck? We was that flashlight on or off? It was on. I was gonna say turn off the flashlight or like set off one of our devices if um, you don't care about our safety. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I did. That's why he set off the cat ball because yeah. he's like, and I, that's why I, that. That's why I was so frozen was because like that was my, I communicate it like in my head, but it sounds like it's out loud to me. Mm -hmm. So I know that they can like, yeah. like, we're speaking in a different way. And I feel like sometimes I will think something and it happens immediately. That's so weird. I, I think it and I don't even get to speak it out loud to share it with you guys before they respond. To what I'm thinking. I'm terrified. I am too. Like petrified. I feel really scared to even like open this door because we don't know if someone's gonna be standing there. Flashlight. I feel like this thing in here doesn't care about us. I see if we do a spirit box session. Flashlight. It never does that with like no. Oh, no, no. oh my god. It's just scary because we're literally in the middle of the mountains. No one is even near us. Like, no one to come rescue us if we needed it. We hardly have service. There's, like, no street lights. This is a freaking horror movie, Amanda. Oh, God. Okay. Tap yeah, in the so corner. Like it, was in the it did. Oh, should we not put some on the couch? Because why? Because something kept sitting on the couch with me. Oh, yeah. Flashlight. Okay, so chair and couch? I'll take the chair and take the couch. Oh, <laughs> you little. What? What? It smells like fire. Do we, it doesn't smell like fire to me. At all. Flashlight went off. It doesn't smell like fire, do you? Like no, 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 not at all. Do we, did you lock the door? Yeah, I did. I relocked it. Okay. I don't smell fire at all, Amanda. You can check out the curtain. Oh, it smells over there. Wait, what is that? Was that a growl? What was that? What was that? Do you see it? That sounded like a growl to me. Is that what I look out there? You don't? Well, not after that. Yeah. Okay. I'm scared. That really freaked me out. Because really usually I smell it too, but I didn't smell it's anything. Like it smelled like somebody lit a match and then I could smell underneath the match. Like, straight... Burn, what the fuck? Burning. See, for me, that time when you were about to open the door, somebody told me, don't open that door. I know, like, I it was, saw you walk up and you were Yeah, like, I'm like, no, no, Amanda, don't. Was that a spirit who wanted me to open the door? Is that why I smelled smoke? Turn this flashlight off if it is. We'll give you 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, two one going. Take energy from our light. Turn it off completely. Take energy from our light and our camera battery. I've noticed a lot. Today. There it goes. It almost seems like uh, we'll get to 15 and then it'll start reacting. Yeah. It's almost like, yeah, we can we can make you give us an extra five seconds. Yeah. You know what I mean? We've yes. never done that before. Like, I would not even be scared right now if we weren't in the middle of nowhere in the mountains in a cabin. Nights like these, I wish I was a boy. I'm going to try something completely new. Oh, shoot, the light. Where I'm going to 
have this be either the room or the house that we're in, the building that we're in. And you know how I was talking about the circles earlier, how yeah. I have different people. I'm going to try and keep them, like see if they pop up where I feel them most. Oh, you know I mean? yes. Oh gosh. <laughs> now I have to go grab it. <laughs> address you directly because I think that we've all met before. I think the flashlight changed again. Yes, it's going crazy. We've all met before but we haven't met here. Sorry. I didn't mean to call you out at all or put you on the spot. You're safe with us. I know that you've seen this spirit box before. If you could say your name through it like you have before, that would be really helpful for us right now. We're going to turn it back on. Flashlight turned on. Okay. Did you see it? Literally, once we're going to turn it back on, the flashlight turned on. Alright, we're ready when you are. Here we go. I did. And I heard the first one, I wrote down the second because I didn't want anyone to like read it and yeah. then say it off of my thing. Yeah. So that's like, I heard the first name, not the last name. Oh! I wrote down the last name so that, that nobody would read off of my paper. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Well, we haven't even said. I know. I know. I know. Is that not insane? That is literally insane. Yeah, I said the name out loud. That was literally, I didn't even, I didn't want the spirit that's here to read off, like if I was wrong and it wasn't Because you think the different her. ones here too? No. Oh, okay, I, I see what you're saying. Never mind. So I, but I didn't, if I was wrong and it wasn't the girl that I'm thinking it was, I didn't want whoever was here to read off mm -hmm. of my paper and then say that name. So I wrote down the last name. I wrote down the last name, Lamb. As in Elisa. Did you hear that tap? The flashlight. Elisa, are you here? Can you turn that pink flashlight off for us if it's you, Elisa? 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 Do you hear the water? I oh! I wrote down two things. Water! I wrote down two and the water things. dropped! 
At least Seth, if it's you, can you turn off that pink flashlight? It's one of the stars that's around. Do you feel like she's here? I do. Did the flashlight turn off? No. Oh, it's going off right now. I can't see it at all, by the way. It's off. I feel like I'm feeling a lot of the things that she felt. Why are you feeling? Like, do you ever like swallow water wrong and choke on it and you have it like up in yes, your sinuses? Yes, it's the worst. Yeah. That's how I feel right now. I don't want to be insensitive. Yeah. Because like of how she did pass away. Mm -hmm. But I feel that heavy right now. Elisa, do you want to talk about the way you passed away? Did you hear all the flashlight turn on? Yeah, I did. Noises? I did. She does want to talk about it? I think she does. I think that's... Lisa, if you do, and you were turning that on to confirm yes, I'm so sorry we should have asked. Can you turn that flashlight back off? Or any of our other devices. Can you make them go, make them react or change in any way to confirm yes, you would like to talk about your death, your passing? Knocks are great. If you could save your energy and try putting it towards one of our devices, you can take energy from our light, from our camera battery, our phones, flashlight. Mm -hmm. It sounds like a water drop. I've been here all night, that's what I wrote down. I feel like this is the first time ever that I've been able to isolate it down to one single spirit and mm -hmm. keep a conversation, like, with just her. Why did she come here to talk to us? I think it's about her passing. Elisa, do you want to talk about how you passed? Or who was involved in your passing? You can make our flashlight go on for who? was involved in your passing. Okay. That's what I thought. Lisa, a lot of people believe that you were not alone that night and that somebody else had involvement. If that's true, can you make our flashlight go off? Or any of our other devices go on? Our flashlight go off? Or any off? Or any off? Or any Again, you can take energy from our flashlight battery. I did too. No. No, it doesn't. I feel like I have a nosebleed. This whole time I felt like I'm on like the verge of tears. Like it's super weird. It like hurts. Alright, Alicia. Alisa, I feel like that was definitely right before that. I feel like wanted to apologize and like we're gonna get back to you. Alright, I saw that you turned the flashlight off for you were not alone that night. The next thing that people believe is that maybe the hotel specifically had involvement. The stay on main, like the corporation. The stay on main, the stay on main, if that's true, somebody who worked there or the corporation itself had involvement. Flashlight. Turn it off. So it was, some, it was in, the hotel was involved with that, basically. I feel like 
they were more involved in the cover up of the death. Mm, yes. Than the actual okay. murder. Elisa was was an entity involved in what happened to you? Did an entity influence you in any way? Or if someone Don't else you was know? involved then. In yeah. It didn't necessarily have to yeah. be even somebody. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I do. Okay, to confirm, it was not an entity involved. Can you turn off our flashlight? If that had nothing to do with it. Flashlight. Lisa, if Mackie and I should leave right now, can you turn on the cat ball in that bathroom? Why would you say that? Because I feel like maybe we should go. I do too. I feel like we should just get up now. Okay. Why do you feel like that? Um, I don't know. Stand up with me. <laughs> We're in this together. Where is it going on? Oh, right there. That didn't even go off when I picked it up. I had to shake it. I feel so shaky right now. I feel pretty nervous. Are we going to the pool? No. I feel sick again. I know, what the fuck? Why us is what I was like. What I was saying is, why would she come to us out of everyone? Because I don't think that a medium's food at that hotel in a while. Like, she kind of has an opportunity with us, yeah. you know? Would, why, be my, would be my guess. Why do you feel like we should leave? Do you feel like it's a person or spirit that we should leave? Because I feel of? like it's a person because. Really? Yeah. What do you mean? I don't know. I don't trust people, and I don't feel like it's a dead person because I'm not afraid of them usually. Do you feel like someone's like nearby or anything? I kind of do. Do you? I'm like scared. I'll call Brendan and we'll, call, we'll talk to him on our way out. Okay. Should we look out the window first? No, I think we should just raw dog her. Hey, really? Yeah. What if we open the door and someone's right there? Maybe I should be on the phone and act like I'm talking to your mom. I'll be like, Mom, if you let me call see when you're where we're in. Okay. What? Hold on, don't. You're lying. You're being routed to Man, I call your mom. Call your mom. What the This is too good. I can't. She's asleep. It's too late. Call. You have to call someone. What the heck? Hello? Hello? That? We're just walking out to our car right now, and we'd rather be on the phone with somebody than not. Oh, okay. So we're walking out to our car, and you're our witness. All right, yeah, here we come right now. You coming? Okay. Yeah. Wait, one second. Hold on. Here we come right now. Okay, I'll meet you guys there because we've got to close the car. Oh shoot, unlock it, unlock my side. Yeah, yes. Alright, we're in the car and the doors are locked. Okay. What the fuck? What? I don't know, just like, what was going on in there? That was very weird. Oh, like, Lisa Lamb just came through? Yeah, what the fuck was that about? Why was that so fucked up? I don't know. Just like when I said, what if absolutely nothing happens today a single spirit comes through? I knew the second I said that, the shit was gonna go down. Of course, of course. Thanks, Mackie. Oh gosh. See, look, you look. Literally, not a light in sight. Oh, something. Oh, never mind. I don't want to do it on this road. No. Oh. <laughs> That's so gnarly. Yes. Does everyone see why we're so scared now? 
So like, what were you feeling that like all of a sudden when we were talking to Elisa Lamb, then all of a sudden you're like, felt like Elisa still, like not like something else came forward, but it felt like it made me wonder if Elisa was outside with us. Oh my god, uh -huh. an overwhelming feeling that we should go inside. Oh. Um, but I, I don't know who it was still. I just feel like she was looking out for us. Did it feel like someone was like outside our cottage? Yeah, it did. Like it felt like that person that was with us originally never left. Are you serious? Like, like the entire time they were there? Yeah. That was actually terrifying. Right? That was really scary. I thought someone did something to our phones. <laughs> Somehow. We made it out of there safe and freaking sound, except we're now we're in an empty parking lot in the very <laughs> back with no one around and there's darkness around us once again but <laughs> sorry about it's kind of the way it is out here we didn't end up going to the pool just because and we debated we thought safety first over anything and we can go back anytime especially with somebody yeah there with us so if you guys want to see that let us know we might end up just going back tomorrow <sighs> that was i don't even know how to describe i don't i don't even know what just happened i feel like you put it perfectly where in the very beginning, right when you were like, what if nothing happens? Yeah. Like, it was so quiet there that we're like, this might be one of those videos where just not that much goes down. Oh, and God. by the end, we were scared shit. I was going to say shitting our pants. Because of spirits and people. And just the fact Elisa Lamb came through. Because <laughs> if you saw our Culver video, you know that after or before the Cecil... Elisa was there with us. She knew we were gonna go. She was there with us at the Cecil. Now the first time we've hung out since then, Elisa's here once again. It was just super weird. That whole 10 minutes was so surreal to me. There's no possible way that that could have happened other than Elisa really being there with us. No, mm -mm. And I don't know what human was there with us, what they were trying to do to us. It was literally a scary movie. We're in the cabin in the woods, two girls, in the middle of Oh my god. In the middle of nowhere, no lights. It was, it was a You scary can tell movie. we're traumatized. Yeah, no, we're really. on edge. Wow, I can't believe we just did that. Put ourselves through all of that. I thought it was going to be such an easy night. Oh, you scared me. We also wanted to say thank you guys so much for 300k. 300k. It has been less than a year, Mackie. Oh my gosh. Well, that thank was you guys. all you guys. Yeah. Thank you so much. We love what we do yeah we do as scared as we are right now we live for it so thanks thank you if you haven't hit that subscribe button please do what are you doing why are you doing oh, this oh awkward <laughs> <laughs> the way you set your hand down at the same time i set my hand down on the scissors except yours landed oh, except yours landed there first so it looked like this <laughs> I don't even know what I was gonna do. I just want to grab If you haven't them. hit that subscribe button, hit it now. If you guys liked this video, I didn't. I didn't either. I hated it. Hit that thumbs up button. And other than that, we'll catch you on the next one. I'm never coming back. Peace. Peace.